morning or good afternoon given where I am. Yeah, I took a little vacation to come and visit the family and I'm at location shooting at their house. So I have a question for you. What makes literally everyone happy? Yes, it's time for another themed episode of Swendoog. Brought to you by one of my lovely Facebook fans. And considering there's only like 10 of you, I think you know which one I'm talking about. In the last themed episode, I tried to include every single kind of human. But there's so many more living things on the planet Earth than just humans, right? Right. Also, sorry if the sunglasses are a little off-putting, but unless you want me squinting the whole time, I'm afraid these are going to be pretty essential. So, for starters, we have a nice old story about friendship. For you see, this cat and this frog, and I'm gonna need you to follow me on this one, tolerate each other. What you're watching right now is the cat's first time being introduced to this little frog. Yeah, as far as stories I've covered so far goes, this is probably the smallest I've ever done. Swandug is becoming dangerously close to turning into a cat video. The cat, whose name is Rinchan, has decided to hold back from its species tendency of going into a murder frenzy and just pets the frog. And that's it, really. Just a nice little reminder that anyone can be friends. And a brief pause from the tragedy that exists in our life all around us. Huh? What? What was that? Well, what was that? It sounded like foreshadowing. Story number two, then, is just a bit more serious. Allow me to introduce to you the Black Rhino. If you haven't heard much about these guys, it's probably because there's only about a thousand of them left in existence. For a bit of context, there's about 22,000 white rhinos in Africa alone, and even that number is considered small by a lot of people. So why am I bringing it up? Because thanks to a little bit of elbow grease, we're beginning to see the return of the black rhino in Rwanda. Put forth by the country's conservationists, the rhinos will be put into Akajera National Park? Akajira? Akajera? Sorry, National Park? Hopefully this is the beginning of a nice return to the species, because not only is their population so low, but thanks to poachers, their death rate almost equals that of their birth rate, meaning they are critically endangered and really, really need the help. You know, I feel like we're seeing more and more people in projects trying to help all these sort of endangered species and plants and animals around the world. I mean, I certainly hope so. With folks like good old D. Tizzle slashing funds for endangered species and attempting to get rid of acts that protect them, we might need all the help we can get. All right, time for the last story of the day. Now, I do want to try to not be too dog-centric because it is kind of a low-hanging fruit as far as what you can do with animals, but I'm biased. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> you know, anyone can be a hero, and given the theme of today's episode, you probably know where I'm going with this. Say hello to Cena, the bomb-sniffing dog, and his partner, Lance Corporal Jeff DeYoung. These two met in Afghanistan and were tasked to help fight the Taliban. And after spending about a year together, these two were inseparable. Jeff would carry Cena throughout bodies of water and battlefields to keep him from getting shot. Cena would cuddle up next to Jeff during cold nights to make sure they both stayed nice and warm. And after the war was done, Jeff decided to adopt Cena and bring him home as a pet. Where even after the war, they would keep each other company and even help each other get through PTSD. Well, unfortunately, six years later, 10-year-old Cena would be diagnosed with a fatal bone cancer that would end up taking his ability to walk. It became increasingly clear to Jeff that Cena needed to be put down. A GoFundMe campaign was raised to help pay for Cena's vet bills and to give Cena a proper send-off. This included paying for a Jeep with no roof so that Cena could feel the breeze through his face one more time and a proper burial, including a casket and a funeral service. Well, after raising $62,000 for the dog, he was taken to the USS LST 393 Museum to be euthanized and have a proper burial. And as Jeff carried his friend over to his final resting place, hundreds decided to show up to not only give thanks to the dog that helped save so many lives, but to appreciate a hero. Cena was buried in a casket with the American flag on it and given a proper send off.
All right, so I have a question for you. What makes everyone happy? Chip, get out of the, get out of the bush. <laughs> Chipper, Rascal Chipper, come here. Shut up, planes. For a little bit of context, there are about 22,000 white elephants. White elephants? About 22,000 white... 22,000 white elephants. I keep wanting to say elephants. <laughs>